I'm a sculptor by talent, and I've been working as a sculptor for the last 42 years as a professional sculptor. And I'm the chairman of Kenya National Visual Artists Association, which is currently holding this exhibition at the Waterfront Mall currently. in uh, over 20 branches across the country, 20 counties. And so we decided to come and uh, hold the exhibition here so that the artists can have a space to showcase what they, they have as a talent and speak about their art. So Mwamuko is the team of the exhibition whereby Kenva is trying to sensitize the artists to wake up towards their creativity. The challenges are enormous, given the fact that the, the Kenyan art industry is not supported by the government, and uh, so the artists are just struggling their own to come together to put their resources together. Kenva itself is engaging over 2,000 artists across the country, but then those, those who managed to come up with the works for the exhibition is, is about 70. We are on with the exhibition until June of this year. Kenya doesn't have a national gallery of art since independence, and that's one of the weakest things that we have in this sector. Uh, the local institutions, that is to say the universities teaching art in Kenya, does not train art management courses, which then becomes a very difficult uh, situation for the industry to prosper without a trained art curator supposed to curate these artworks and advise the artists accordingly. Kenya National Visual Artists Association is an umbrella body uniting all visual artists groups in the country. The purpose is to create a one structured uh, unity of representation whereby the artists come together to share experiences, interact with the rest and even have um, projects that they create together as artists for this country. And uh, secondly, as Kenya National Visual Artists Association, we need to mix together the professionals and the, the upcoming artists so that we can educate them on what is the, the, the basic uh, professional system that you can conceptualize your art that is within the parameters of international uh, standard. So that by the time you produce your art, at least your art is something that can uh, he sent to present a country anywhere outside, the, outside Kenya or outside Africa. Because the, there is a big challenge because of one. Uh, Trying to become an artist, to learn the skills of art is one thing, and becoming an accomplished artist is another different thing. Because you have to learn every aspect that makes you become a professional, and that is within the parameters of artistic test. 
Yeah, so Canva is trying to unite all those people together in order to give the space for sharing those experiences together. Kenya National Visual Arts Association is engaging the government in varied areas. Uh, first of all, we have drafted a proposal that we are going to take to every county all over the country. And the proposal is about the county government setting up an art and culture center for artists. Art and culture center for artists is going to have quite a number of studios where the artists go in, engage their arts, share their creativity, produce and market their art. Uh, the cultural practitioners can also be using that facility to educate people about culture. So a lot will be done within the Art and Culture Centre, which has now been set up since independence. Uh, and this will encourage even the people from the rural, because we have many artists in the rural areas who have never met their way to, to, to major cities like Nairobi to market their art. So if we have these art and culture centers right from the grassroots, so the tourists feasting out there, they can just go to the art and culture center to see the artists and talk with them as they buy art and enjoy the culture. Yo, what up? This your boy, Nani.